He'll vote for Hillary Clinton, he says. The woman he said was not qualified to be president. The woman we know lacks the strength of character to lead the free world. See for yourself. Are you going to vote for Hillary Clinton in November? Yes. Yeah. Bernie Sanders supporters are crying betrayal over this. And to be honest, I'm pretty disappointed too. What happened to the referendum on the Democratic Party's political cronyism and corruption? Is that just out the window now? He promised to take on the Democratic establishment, but now he'll vote for the woman who exploited the rules, who rigged the system, who defined the parameters of the Democratic Party hierarchy? He'll vote for a woman whose boon is the billionaire class, not the average American. A woman dependent on big money campaign contributions, controlled by special interests, owned by Wall Street, tied to corruption. A woman who refuses to release to the American people speeches so brilliantly crafted, he claims, that Wall Street forked over a cool $225,000 a pop. He'll vote for the woman who resorted to political money laundering to raise the cash to bulk her campaign stature. The woman he warned would be a disaster as presidential nominee. Bernie Sanders had one job to do. He enlivened the masses, stoked the passions of millions of people dismayed by the political cronyism of Hillary Clinton, the hypocrisy of Hillary's promise to champion women and gays while packing her purse with millions of dollars from oppressive regimes. He painted himself as the anti-politician, willing to buck the trends to do what he believed was right. But the character of socialism is frail. The strength to resist the wealth of the Clintons feeble. And as so many before him, he caved. Bernie Sanders is just like the rest of Washington, D.C., talking a big game, but choking in the moment of truth, betraying his principles for politics, abandoning his values, selling his voice, casting his vote for crooked Hillary Clinton. Bernie, my man, you're better than that. And that's my final point. Reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. And if you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. Be sure to catch Tipping Point again tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern, and have a good night.